So the Mockingjay Part 2 teaser trailer just dropped. Wow. Wow. Hello there fellow viewer, my name is Gabriel, and today it is very likely that I'll get emotional. Also known as talking about the Mockingjay Part 2 teaser trailer. Let us just begin. Okay, we open the trailer and we see this beautiful shot of some place, and I'm literally lost. I start thinking we're in Amity. Wrong dystopian trilogy, my friend. We then see President Coin and Plutarch looking at whatever is going on on this stage, and again, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. My mind is going, should I be recognizing this? Oh my goodness, I have no idea what's going on. <sighs> Reseda is filming, and I start thinking, probably shooting some kind of Propo, right? And then we see Finnick and Annie kissing, and I'm, I just, my heart can't take it. I have to pause the video. My eyes are just tearing up. It hit me so hard seeing Finnick and Annie like that. I was not expecting it. Their wedding, their freaking wedding. I was not expecting them to put that on the trailer. That's why I was so surprised and really emotional. Just. You probably don't know this, but Finnick and Annie were and are one of my favorite, favorite things about the trilogy. Don't ask me why. I think their love story is beautiful, yet tragic, and I can't think about it because emotions and feelings. I cannot express to you how glad I am that they put this right at the beginning of the trailer. It gave us that emotional push that the fans needed. You also see the people dancing and in the book it is very well described as something particular to District 4 and just there are no words to express how happy I am that they put this on the trailer. Just I am these first few seconds of the trailer just really hit me so hard because wow. Katniss is going on about how she can't make another speech about Snow. And let me go back to a point I really like to reinforce. Katniss Everdeen is 17 years old. Katniss Everdeen is 17 years old. It's just watching the movie, reading the books, I don't know about you, but I really distance myself from this fact because she is exactly a year older than me. And going through that a year from now just does not fit into my head. The trauma that this girl, and it feels so wrong saying she's a girl, the trauma that this woman is going through is enough to put a seasoned adult into some kind of trance. And she's a teenager going through all this stuff. One of the things that I most like about this trilogy is how realistically it deals with them being teenagers. It's just, it's insane. Effie is prepping her up and just so many flashbacks to the first Hunger Games. Snow has to pay for what he's done. A hundred percent with you, Miss Everdeen. I'm so glad that they've reached this tipping point. No more. It is now or it is never and we are opting for now. It's, it's just, it's the book on screen. That is exactly what happened. They reach a breaking point. Let me remind you, this is a teaser trailer. What on earth is the full trailer going to do to me and to the rest of the fans? The music in this trailer is absolutely epic. I had chills running up and down the whole entirety of looking and listening and watching this trailer because the music just fits in perfectly. Oggs is giving Katniss a very motivational speech, which I really appreciate. I feel like we didn't get enough Boggs in Mockingjay Part 1. We see Hamish and Katniss just having this kind of moment. And I have mentioned that I'm not the biggest fan of Hamish, but I have to say that their friendship is something so special to the books and to the movies, and I'm really happy they decided to incorporate that into the trailer. We see the dam. Beyond the dam, there is a city on fire, and I'm assuming that's the capital. The capital is breaking down, getting destroyed. This movie is just going to blow everything away. Snow corrupt everyone and everything. Again, the book. We also see this very, very brief moment of Katniss dancing with Primrose during Finnick and Annie's wedding. And this is probably the moment when I feel if there is another emotional moment like this one, I'm going to cry. They captured it perfectly in this trailer and that just leaves my soul so relieved because it means that they have captured it 
equally perfect, such an important part of everything. You see Katniss leading a group of people through the victor's chariot parade thing. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm also confused at this because this has to occur after they take over the capital. This has to mean that this is the moment that Katniss is supposed to kill Snow but doesn't. You know, I don't want to give any more spoilers. I'm also glad they put that in the trailer because some people need reminding that that actually happened. Katniss's look, don't get me started on how amazing the Mockingjay looks. How this 17 year old girl has transitioned into a leader of a revolution. It's just, it is insane. The character development, the character growth that Katniss goes through. It just shows so much in this trailer. <sighs> no words. This is the moment that I did not want coming because this is the moment where I think I really, really started. Peta and Katniss, you know, another amazingly important part of this franchise, movies, books, everything. And seeing them like this, hugging it out, so emotionally attached to each other, it's just an, a huge transition from how we ended Mockingjay Part 1. It's just so emotional to watch that and it's probably very emotional to experience it. So I honestly can't wait to see their relationship in the big screen. It's going to shatter everyone. We see a bunch of action sequences. This is probably going to be most of the movie because we know Mockingjay Part 1 had its fair share of action. But Mockingjay Part 2 is pretty explosive in more ways than one. So, now the oil. Call me morbid, call me anything you like. I was actually very much anticipating exactly how they were going to do the oil in the movie. I read Mockingjay three times, and in those three times, I couldn't picture exactly how the oil rise in level instead of going forward. This is perfect. This oil cascading down from the buildings. Now I can picture exactly what happened. Another thing I really want to see how is the... Oh god, I always forget the, their names, the capsules, the things that they have to deactivate. I forgot what they're called, but I'm very excited to see how they do that. Again, I couldn't picture exactly how these capsules were triggered and how they happened. It was confusing, and I do want to see how they're executed in the movie, even though a lot of deaths occur. It's literally coming in from every side. It's coming from two blocks and they are forced to run. It's advancing pretty quickly. Intense. Very intense. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 76th Hunger Games. Cannot agree more. This is as, if not more, violent and cruel than the initial books and movies where we actually had Hunger Games. It just completely blows the scale again. It is going to be completely epic, this movie. Mm. Also very emotional, obviously, you know? I'm pretty sure this is going to be the Hunger Games movie that I come out of the theater sobbing, maybe. It's it's going to be very, very hard. As always, we get the Rue whistle and the trailer ends. This trailer is everything I was hoping and dreaming and looking for in the very first sneak peek we get from part two. Batman vs Superman comes out next year and its trailer debuted like a month ago. And now I know it was leaked. Part two is in November. We're in the beginning of June. That's what? One, two, three, four. That's five months. We should have gotten a trailer earlier than this. Anyway, again, this was a very emotionally impacting trailer that I absolutely adored because what are we people that love things that hit our feelings head on? As a fan, it was everything I was anticipating, it was everything I was looking for, and I'm repeating myself, so I should probably wrap up this thing. I'm very excited for Mockingjay Part 2. It's that bittersweet feeling you get when you read the last book in the series, you know, you really want to know how it ends, but at the same time, you don't want it to end ever. And unfortunately, it's happening. This is the last Hunger Games movie, you know, possibly ever. It's just, it, we've come so long. It's just, it's very, very, I don't know the feeling. It just, it really hits you like a ton of bricks. That this is the last time we'll experience adventures with these characters. It's hard. That was it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you stay tuned for my next videos and remember to keep your day a very bookish one. Goodbye.